the best time to get a flu shot is approaching flu season, which goes from about October to February. So you might want to time it all through October, beginning of November. Peak protection would be two weeks to a month after you get the, the vaccine. So you kind of want to time it so that the peak protection coincides with the peak of the flu season. You definitely can get the flu shot and COVID booster at the same time. A lot of people would say, you know, I'll get one and then come back in a week or two for the other and they never come back. If you're already there to get one of those vaccines, you might as well get the other at the same time. A lot of the people who are susceptible to severe COVID disease are also susceptible to severe influenza. So that's the people who should really be looking at getting both shots at the same time. I do a lot of science communication on social media, and I've noticed that whenever I talk about the boosters or encourage people to go get their boosters, a lot of people are commenting and saying, oh, I didn't know they were available, or I didn't know those boosters were out. I've also had a couple people tell me that their primary care doctor and their doctor told them, oh, you don't need to get it unless you're over 65 and things like that. So I think there's a bit of mixed messaging there, but I want to tell people that that bivalent booster is specifically designed to target BA4 or BA5. And BA5 is currently the dominant variant in the US. The previous vaccine will provide some protection, but getting the booster will really expand the range of neutralizing antibodies that you have to protect you against infection. The CDC director actually signed off on boosters for kids aged 5 to 11. And I think it's really important that parents take their kids to get vaccinated, especially if they're, you know, in going to in-person school or involved in other activities where they have to interact with other people. It's really important. There was a time early in the pandemic where people were saying, oh, kids, are affected by COVID, but we know now that that is absolutely not true. A lot of kids have died from the disease and hospitalized, are experiencing long COVID. You really want to do as much as possible to protect your child. There are a lot of new variants that are circulating in other countries and coming along the pipeline. And I'm hearing some chatter from people that, you know, what's the point of getting the booster or getting vaccinated if this new variant is going to evade that immunity and we're not going to be protected anyway. The immune system is complex and you want to equip your body as much as possible to protect you against potential infection. Vaccines have been around for a very, very long time and they are the reason why we've gotten past a lot of the diseases that kind of crippled humanity in the past. So this is not something new. mRNA technology may be new to a lot of the general public, but it's actually been around for decades. We've been making mRNA vaccines against several other viruses. There have been clinical trials happening against men with many mRNA um, vaccines way before COVID popped up. I would just encourage people to really go out and protect yourself because you can't predict how your body will respond to this particular flu infection or this particular um, COVID infection. So you really want to do as much as possible to protect yourself.